Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a what I got for Christmas video. I haven't filmed one of these in literally like five years or something maybe. If you are a long time supporter or like subscriber on my channel you will know that I used to do these videos every year from the age of about 13, 14 maybe. Lots of my old videos are now private. Um, but it feels weird to be sitting down and doing another one. So this is in no particular order. Very um, thankful and appreciative of everything that I got. I hope you guys all had a Merry Christmas, whether you celebrate it or not. Um, I hope you had a good day, nevertheless. So in today's haul we have a mixture of kind of homeware. I've got some clothing bits, I've got some beauty bits, some sweets, chocolate. So, the first thing that I got were these um sports bras i don't know what you really call them um they're from primark they were a pack of three i got these in a size medium and they were 10 pounds so you've got this gray color looks quite navy on screen comes with a white um like that and then it also comes with this sage green which i have actually already worn and it's super super comfortable comes with removable um like padding um it's just really comfortable i'm not sure if you guys know or if you've watched any other videos on my channel but i am nearly 30 weeks pregnant so i wanted some comfortable um not necessarily nursing bras but just comfortable bras that weren't underwired so i got those as a three pack and then I also got these as a three pack as well. I wanted these in a large because the bigger the better. These are basically the same with removable cups. These are a 14, 16, three pack seam free wireless bras. And this is a grey, white and black. And um, they've got a bit on the side here where you can tighten them or loosen them if you need to. These are just comfortable to wear. I wear these literally all day, every day. So I got some of those. I'll try and keep it to clothing and then we'll move on to beauty and stuff like that. So the next item of clothing, my boyfriend's Nan, I think actually got me this. Um, it's a nighty. I actually really like the print. It reminds me a little bit of like Ted Baker vibes. And this is in size 8 to 10, oh no, sorry, 12 to 14 medium. And this was £8. Um, it's got straps and like a v-neck. Quite long, actually. I can try and lift it up um, but no it's really really soft I like I don't have anything really this color and it, yeah it reminds me a bit of like Ted Baker print so a nice soft nighty from my partner's mum she got me some slippers I wanted these for a while they're like the fake um, like Ugg slippers so they've got the elasticated band at the back I love that the sole's really chunky um, not that you're supposed to wear slippers outside, but if I just pop outside to let the dogs out for a wee or like take the bin out, then I can wear these and not stand on anything sharp. They're open toe at the front. Here is the other one. Absolutely love them. And yeah, as you can see, they are a nice, like fluffy teddy bear black colour. One of the things I was most looking forward to this Christmas was getting a new dressing gown. I didn't get a new dressing gown last year, so I've had the same dressing gown for like two years and I was definitely due a new one. This one was from Primark, this was from my mum, this is in size medium, 12 to 14. It's like waffle print, I think is that what you call it. Um, it's baby pink, it's got hearts on it, it's long, soft, I can't tell you how soft this is, it's got pockets not showing it very well but absolutely love it I really really like that and I can't wait to wear it I've been keeping the tag on it and keeping it nice and fresh so I could show it in this video but now that I have showed it I'm definitely gonna shove it on I think that's everything I have for clothing I'm now gonna move on to homeware this was from my brother um, it's technically not for me it's for the baby's room but um, I wanted to get things kind of this Christmas that were practical and things that I needed rather than just bits and bobs that I wasn't going to use. So this is from, where's this from? Argos I believe. It says home on the top which it looks like Sainsbury's packaging. I'll find the link to it below because it was ordered from the Argos website but it was collected in Sainsbury's and it's a cloud print shade and it's grey. 
that's what it looks like. So that's going to go in the baby's nursery. From my mum, she got me some of the um, Hinch um, collection from Tesco's. These I absolutely love. I love the grey one with the hearts on the front. I think that's my favourite one. So I got some of those. And then she also got me some tea towels, which you can never have too many tea towels. Um, that's what these ones look like. I like the hearts. Hearts are my favourite. Also, from my brother, I asked him to um, grab me one of the like nappy caddy storage things that everyone uses. Obviously, it's in his packaging. I'm not going to open it just yet. I will be doing some videos on the nursery once it is a bit more um, looking like a nursery, because at the moment it looks like a building site. But I got one of these for upstairs, and then I'm going to buy another one for downstairs as well. And this was just from Amazon. My mum got me the next festive spice reed diffuser i absolutely love this smell although it's not christmas anymore i will literally use this like all year round we're going to put this in our bedroom um, i think they've changed the packaging to it this year absolutely love it it's got little like red currants or berries cranberries whatever they are if you've not smelt this then you definitely need to because it's amazing candles this was from my aunt this is from habitat it's a candied ginger and nutmeg scented candle with LED lights. Don't really understand how this works just yet, but I believe when you light it, um, it's supposed to like light up or something, or I don't know if it's got batteries in it. I'm not actually too sure, but if you take this plastic bit off the top, maybe someone can explain it to me in the comments. If you take the plastic bit off the top, this stuff here is actually like jelly around the outside and then obviously you've got the candle in the middle but even the jar is just beautiful so I got that and it smells delicious also is it really Christmas if you don't get more than one candle I got this one from my mum which is cinnamon sparkle these are all from Aldi these ones I've tried them before and they are literally just like Yankee candles we also have starlight which actually me and my mum says smells quite lemony I can't really put my finger on what it is. Does it say what the notes are or not? No, it doesn't. But whatever it is, it smells delicious. And then I have plum and mulberry. At this rate, I'm literally going to be able to put a candle in every single room. And this one, which is probably my favourite, is vanilla frosting. I'm just going to have to smell it again. Oh, it smells good enough to eat. So I got some of those. And they're like the medium size kind of like Yankee Candle dupes. Also while we're on the topic of home stuff, um, I actually got an electric blanket. As you can see this was from B&M, it was only £30. I think um, it was about £40, £45 in Argos and then when me and my mum were shopping out together we saw it at B&M so she actually bought it while I was there so I definitely knew that I was getting this. I've wanted one of these for ages. I'm such a cold person in bed and it comes with a remote on the back so you can almost like preheat your bed before you get into it um i have done a quick google and I, electric blankets are safe to use while pregnant as long as you don't raise your body temperature too high but don't take my word for it ask your midwife um, and seek your own advice but i will just use this as and when it comes with um three heat settings and yeah it's got the one control which is on my side and that's the king size one so you know you're getting old when you get an electric blanket for christmas i think that's all the home stuff we're now going to move on to beauty items i have a moisturizer i've tried this one before from nivea i love that it's in a tube um it's the nivea refreshing day cream it's got vitamin e in it and it's for normal skin also with an spf 15 in it I then got my absolute favourite lip oil. I get one of these for Christmas every year. It's from Clarins. I get the number one in the shade Honey. I know they do have other scents and smells and shades now. Um, I think the pink one is like watermelon or cherry or something. And it's supposed to have a bit of a scent. But I just prefer the plain one. This, oh my god, it's just... I put this on before I go to bed. It's amazing. I've completely run out of my one from last year, so I'm glad that I have got a new one. 
I then also kind of get this for Christmas every year. This is my favourite mascara. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I have completely run out of this as well, so I'm glad that I can top my makeup bag up with a new one. Absolutely love this. I love the big chunky um, bristle brush that it comes with. It's really, really good. Definitely worth the money. And then I've got some hair care. This is from Aussie. I don't think I've actually ever tried anything from Aussie. I've got the shampoo and conditioner and it's the SOS Kiss of Life with a blend of Australian super fruits. Brings hair back from the depth. And then my mum also got me the Supercharge Moisture Hair Mask, I think, that goes with it. So, absolutely love trying new things for my hair. My hair at the moment is just a bit... I don't really know what to do with it. I'm planning to have my hair done in February, just before my baby arrives. I think I'm bored of being blonde because it's too high maintenance, my roots are naturally dark, so I get my hair done blonde and then like two weeks later I literally have like a centimetre of a root. So it's grown out to like there, I don't know if you can see that very well, but I'm going to do something to my hair, but just in the meantime to keep the ends nice and soft, I want to have quite a lot chopped off as well. So always love new hair care bits and bobs. I also got my absolute favourite Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. This is the oil infused cleansing water. It is amazing for like lip liner. It's also good for waterproof mascara. You shake it before you use it and then both the bits mix together and then it will just like naturally separate again but it's the best one out of all the Garnier Micellar Waters and it's really really good. I got this from my boyfriend's mum, it looks really cool actually, it's like a big cracker and it comes with all different face masks in it, it's from the brand Skin Treats and it says 7 days of masking, 7 clay face masks to energise and moisturise your skin for a renewed and refreshed appearance, so that looks exciting, I'll definitely use some of those before the baby's here. I got some bath bombs, these were from my cousin, these are diamond bath bombs in coconut. And then we have bath salts, which I can actually smell them through the packet. This is cherry, strawberry, peach and coconut. Absolutely love that. They look so fun. I love anything to put in the bath. Another face mask. This one I've not tried before. I believe it's a sheet mask or a tissue mask. And it's charcoal. One of my cousins also really kindly made me this. She does crochet. How cool is that that she made me that? I'm going to put that on my keys. Love it. She also made the baby a little hat as well, but it's just it's in the other room as well. So I'll maybe show you that another time. But so talented, I would never know where to start and make something like that. And then last but not least, on to sweets and chocolate. My cousin, she actually made these. So she obviously bought the mason jars um, and then she's put the little tag on them and filled them with all of the best pick mix sweets i'm really excited to crack these open if you've watched any of my pregnancy trimester videos you will know that i am craving anything sweet or chocolatey so this is going to keep me going for a while i have a few boxes of chocolate fingers which are my absolute favorite i could eat 10 packets of these a day i got some lindors love these can't go wrong and then also got some Maltesers and the like Maltesers that come in celebrations, which are the best ones. Oh, I'm finding more chocolate behind me. Another box of Lindor's and this, which is just like heaven. I absolutely love Dairy Milk. I think it's the best chocolate. It's better than like Hershey's. I think it's better than Galaxy. And this is just like a big old bag with a handle of Cadbury's Dairy Milk chocolate, which will be demolished very soon I'm sure. So guys that is everything I got for Christmas obviously um, I think I am missing a few like gift cards and gift vouchers and stuff. My auntie got me a pregnancy massage which I'm so excited to use. If you've had a pregnancy massage then let me know in the comments when the best time to have it is. I will be 30 weeks pregnant the first week of January so should I have it like now or should I have it closer to the end? I'd love to know what you um, what you think and what you've enjoyed in the past. Also let me know what you got for Christmas in the comments below. I would love to read your comments and have a little chat. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys soon. Bye!